Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to The Quickie. I am Becca here with Jack and Kelsey. <laughs> you get faster and faster every time. She's, she's so happy. You know when I have to put down auditions, uh, like yeah. self-tapes or whatever? Yeah. I have to remind myself to slow down my talking because yeah. not every single person on planet earth talks so quickly, but I think when I'm learning lines, I do them rapid fire so sure, that I yeah. really get them in my head. Yeah. So then when I go to say them, they're still a little sped up. Yeah. And I think I just like spill right out. Yeah. <laughs> and I don't feel like I'm a very fast talker in, in normal life. No, you're not. You slowed down 200% after the first three hello, words. Hello, hello. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> what is happening with you? In, in life? In life like also. How's but like, how's your heart? No, not how's your heart. I would never. <laughs> I would never ask you how your heart is. I don't mind is. how's your heart. She I don't Jack like doesn't like it. No, there's something going on. It's a new vibe. What's the vibe, Jack? I don't think so. <laughs> Physically, emotionally? It's like you're prettier than ever. Oh, wow. You're Thank giving you. me like Gwyneth Jen, sexy. Like, I don't know. What is it? Are you happy? It's I mean, I'm the same that I always am, which is baseline. <laughs> you're looking so styly. I mean, other than the white sock, you're perfection right now. You don't like my white. It's not white. I don't like a sock. What, am I, what would you prefer my foot to be in right in now? Like, I think we, we already had talked a about this. About we white did. Socks. I know, but I don't know what the solution a is. A sock that with my face actually, on it, no. my slippers that I just had on. Oh yeah, those are the good. greatest. Yeah, those are good. Okay, well, you look what? So anyway, hi. Hi, I actually shouldn't be looking or feeling or anything. I'm pretty, mm, not like disheartened. Yeah. Uh, you know, when so many things just like keep going the same way over and over and over again, I think spiritually I'm supposed to somehow get out of this loop. Mm. Oh yeah. But I've been a very in a very similar loop for the past, probably since the beginning of the year with like work stuff. And I can't seem to, I, I keep having to be like, okay, moving on. All mm -hmm. right, moving on. I'm exhausted from that. Yeah. So my spirit's broken. So <laughs> Tight. is that, is that what you're feeling? I'm not sure. I, here's actually what I think it is, is that I feel like your spirit should be more broken and you should be mad and angry and sad, but you're still giving me light goddess energy. Well, thank you. I think I have, you know, when you, you get so beat down yeah. that you kind of, it's all you f it. You're like, f it. Well, and like you get perspective. Yeah. yeah. And I think my perspective now is that things are just going to be the way that they are. And I can't care too much about it because we're all going to die. That's right. <laughs> Very true. Jack. I have so many questions for you. And then what? I want I want us to kind of like go into what's been going on lately. Mm -hmm. But I know Jared's been on tour with Follow Boy. And mm -hmm. I want to know if Pete Wentz remembers me. Remembers you? Yeah. <laughs> Did Pete, was he like, hey, congrats on your podcast with Kelty Colleen. You guys really showed him? No? Did you like know him back in the day? I lived at his house. You lived at his, oh, because of Ryan. Yes. Oh my God. I forgot about that connection. Yeah. Ooh, I, I mean- are you, what, are you like texting all the time? No, but- he probably doesn't remember of all no, that. No, I think he does. I think he has a good memory from like back in the day stuff. It was like iconic. Like Wait, when he was with so Ashley, funny. he was with Ashley Simpson. I'll never forget it. It was the VMAs and it was like my second VMAs. I had no money. I was like still a broke dancer, but I was like trying to act like I was successful yeah. just so I could like stay in, in the circle, mm -hmm. you know? As one does. And so I borrowed a black satin dress from BB. Yes. That my friend had worn that was like kind of corseted you know, it was like that era and I had not a hair on my head. It was like a whisper of a, a baby's breath of a two-year-old hairdo. And um, we went to the VMAs and I remember because we went up and we were getting ready. We were getting ready. It was the Vegas VMAs. We were getting ready and Ashley Simpson had like what I know now, I didn't realize this was a thing, but like sometimes when you do an award show, they bring in this like wood sort of vanity to your dressing room. It's like a movable vanity. I had one you know, uh, the other week at award season and they put it in your hotel room so the glam team can come to you, mm, you know? Yeah. And she had one of those and they were doing her glam and then she put her outfit on and there was like a stylist and everything. And we were just kind of in there while she was getting ready. And I remember being like, yeah, that was weird. But <laughs> I remember just being like, oh my God, that's the most beautiful dress I've ever seen. Oh my God, she's so stylish. She's so beautiful. I look back at the photos and like, she looks great. But the level between like a BB dress and this girl was like so... And it was like the height of the Pete and Ashley era. Yeah. Is he married? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Who's he with? 
uh, this girl, Megan, they've been okay. together for like a long time. Yeah. And, and he's kids got kids and, and all that stuff. But he yeah. brought all of his kids, to the Anaheim show. And she was like walking. I know her. So she was like walking through the like backstage area, 30 kids. Not all theirs, but like his kids are like to the age of where they can bring, bring like friends. all of their friends and shit. And I was like, I've never seen so many kids in my life. Oh my gosh. Yeah. It was it's really like the so adult cute. rock show. Yeah. And you know, they probably don't think that he's cool or anything. They probably just are like. I feel like you do when your dad is that. playing those venues and people are screaming their faces off. I feel like you have to know. Yeah. Well, they're old enough. They're like, I think they're like. Actually, I don't know how old they are. I but. just think when your dad, when your parent is an actor and they get to a certain age, it's cringy. But when they're <laughs> a rock star, it's like Travis Barker's kids' wishes. Oh yeah, you know yeah, what I mean. Yeah. Like there's just something about different. like Lenny Kravitz is like still so cool. Yeah, that's true. Even the Richies, like Lionel Richie, and like yeah, even like his a rock kid. star is a rock star. They, kids, yeah. they last. undeniable to the kids. They undeniable, I know, undeniable. I, I want to ask you this: Did you stay and watch Fall Out Boy at all? Yeah. Some of the nights. Well, what's so funny is if you're on the tour, like you have like a laminate on the tour, you don't get a ticket. And a lot of the shows sell out. So there are some shows that we literally had nowhere to sit. Oh. Like my mom came to the show and she like had her seat and we couldn't sit with her because there were no seats for us. Right. And we try to like watch from like upstairs, like next to like where like the curtains are yeah. and got kicked out. And we're like, I literally don't know how to watch Fall Out Boy right now. Is there the Fall Out Boy song that still slaps? All of them. Right. All of them. Can you jog my memory? Sugar, we're going down swinging. <laughs> oh, okay. So much for starlight. That, thought we had it all, thought we had it all. Oh, yeah. I'm like, uh, what song are you singing? That's a new one. Um, this ain't a scene. It's, it's a, a goddamn, goddamn arms race. race. That, that was like one. the scene. That was an old you one. Know she was a scene queen. Yeah. He was talking about that scene, Jack's scene. Mm -hmm. Oh, I don't think so. They were talking about the scene. Were they? I don't think so. Why were the lyrics don't make any why sense? Why would the lyric be this ain't a seam, it's a goddamn arms race if they weren't talking about the emo music scene? I don't know. They were just talking about a scene in the movie in Titanic? I don't know. None of their lyrics make sense. It Jack, makes what are those sense? pants that you're wearing? <laughs> what? How high does this pant go? Jack that is the weirdest. Well, loves the high waisted pants. She's wearing. Just... Hold on, describe it. Describe it, Becca. Okay. It's a <laughs> wide leg sweatpant, sweat but as her a sweatshirt slipped upward. I noticed a zipper. How, how high it went? That goes so high. Tits high. Tits high. With and a, then the what do you call that? Rouging. Yeah, like an elastic yeah, it's waistband. A little elastic, but it's like five it's, inches big. It's so strange. They're not supposed to sit that high. They're supposed to sit around here. But I was just really having a moment. They're very ugly. They're pretty comfy. <laughs> I they kind of suck my like bloated belly in. Okay. Well, Shh. you know what? You do you. Yeah. You. Do you. Okay. Becca, what's going on in your life? Um, I went blonder. <laughs> That's what it is. Is that what it is? I think maybe. Huh. I think so. Yeah. Blonder. And a little long hair. My hair's growing again. Are you yeah. going to grow it out or are you going to cut it? I have no idea. Do you think you guys will have another baby? Sorry, I know I'm not supposed to ask that. I mean, at some point, I think. Yeah. But not anytime soon. Yeah. It's not a rush. I don't okay. know. Um, how's pilot season? <clears throat> well, that's, what's crushed my spirits. Oh. Um, is it still like, but I mean for you personally, but then like industry dismal, like, is it still yeah. Nepo babies and like nothing yeah. happening? And when I say crush my spirit, I actually don't even lose a minute of sleep over any <laughs> okay. of this. It's just sort of like fun yeah. to play into the drama. Yeah. You know, pilot season used to be very different than it is now. So there were, you know, a month, two months really, where it was every single day you had multiple auditions for new shows coming. Yeah. It doesn't exist like that anymore because TV's totally different, you know, and pilot season doesn't, it exists for the net, big networks, but there's all the streaming now. So, um, it's quieter, but then there's still like exciting things that happen. And a lot of the streamers have cool stuff, but it's, <laughs> The strike really sucked mm -hmm. and people lost a lot of money, meaning like people that make TV. So they're not making that much and it's about to be AI. And I firmly Wait, like believe in what way? like the actors, I think, you know, SAG, our whole strike had to do a lot of it had to do with like protecting us from AI, essentially taking our jobs because it is wild where they're already at with AI, they can, if they wanted, create us sit sitting here, 
podcasting, saying whatever we they want us to say. Right. It can go out and our listeners and viewers would not know that we didn't do it. That is how good this AI well, is. Well, you guys know about my fake AI Kelty commercial. I don't think I told you this. Oh, my, I saw it. Yeah. Oh, where all these people are putting together commercials with celebrities? No, it's me. So this is crazy. It's a, it was from when I was on Entertainment Tonight. It's a video of me. I'm in a green dress. I'm standing on the Entertainment Tonight stage. And I say, we got to talk about Kelly Clarkson's glow up. And I, and then my mom kept sending to me. She's like, do these pills work? Do these pills yes, work? Yes, this is what they're doing. This is like and going- And I was like- Wasn't it for like, not ginkgo it, biloba, but like something- No, it was for like diet pills. And she was like, are the pills good? The ones for Kelly Clarkson. I was like, what the f*** are you talking about? I was like, mom, because she buys shit on the yeah. internet all the time. And I'm like, stop buying stuff on the internet. It's a scam. She's like, I ordered these clothes. They never came. I was like, it's a scam. Oh, mom, no. stop. Yeah. So I was like, mom, the pills don't work. Nothing works. And she's like, but it's you. You're saying they work. And I was like, I don't know what you're talking about. So finally, someone else that I trust more about their internet like usage yeah. <laughs> sent it to me. It's literally a commercial where I'm doing a commercial. It's me, Kelty, my body, standing there telling you that this pill works. And you never said And Kelly words. Clarkson used it. And that's why, and that's why she's so thin. And it's like kind of stuff that, first of all, we would never say it on ET. And second of all, it's like a little fat shamey, yeah. you know? And I'm like, I would never have said this or remember that I said it. They took one snippet of me on ET saying something about Kelly Clarkson's name. And then they AI'd me so standing insane. there saying whatever he want. The voice is a little, little bit off. Like 0.9% off. Just so much that I listened to it four times. So I was like, that's not my voice. Yeah. yeah. That's or like the key to And we're worried so about AI and what I do too, because essentially they can scan me and then have me stand there, or AI me to say whatever they want every single night. But do you think with AI, like this is what, there's like some things with AI. I'm like, there's no way that this is going to like land with a consumer. Like I understand the AI for like writing shows and movies. Yeah. Like I no, understand the fear of that, but here's like why actor they can take, there's enough footage of an artist like Whitney Houston, right? Yeah. There's enough footage of her moving, dancing, singing. They have enough um, recordings of her voice and how it sounds. They could use all of that, write a brand new album, yep. oh, have yeah. her record a brand new album. And then essentially music videos, the Billy Idol or the um, Billy Joel song that just came out, the music video is him singing his new song as him now. And then they used his images of him as a younger man singing the new song right now as oh, the younger shit. man. Whoa. So with actors, they could, they could be like, we love Jennifer Aniston. Granted, they'd have to like buy her likeness and yeah, there's yeah. all these protections. But beyond that, it's that the industry itself is, I don't know how much longer people are going to want to spend money to make TV Things. shows that people aren't even really watching that yeah, much of anymore. Sure, yeah. The numbers of how many people watch TV now versus even when I started in TV, sure, a fraction. And fraction. it's like 10 times more expensive. And it's more expensive. It. So, you know, it's like actors are getting paid less and productions are getting less, exp like they're having cheaper budgets. And so- I actually feel like I'm on the Titanic. Yeah. The violin yeah. is playing. Yeah. And I'm grateful for all the time that I've had. Yeah, me too. But this feels, a, it feels like a scary time. And I can only imagine that for me, stupid little actress feels this way. There's all these other industries that don't have unions protecting them from AI and all these other technologies yeah. where people are losing jobs left and mother oh, same. right. And it's just getting scary. And I, this sounds like a doomsday podcast. <laughs> It's not doomsday. It's, it's well, that's why the doom a, gang. Doom gang. That's why there's just this like really dark cloud. I just think in general with life right now, like with everybody, mm -hmm. because it's just like nobody's Fear. jobs are safe. Well, and it's moving so quickly. And when things move so quickly, there's hard to regulate. And then, yeah, it's scary. The fact that there's people now doing these kidnapping scams oh where they're taking your voice from Instagram and, and calling your parents with your voice saying that you've been kidnapped? No. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And then asking to wire like So asking money. to wire money. So what every family has to do now or like any partnership, anything, you have a family word. So if yeah. Chris gets a call one day that you're being kidnapped. Right. We have like a safe word. He'll say, okay, you're, that's fine. And then you'll be like pineapple. Right. And right. And then he'll know it's you. Ma don't make a pineapple. 
Because <laughs> now everyone knows. I'm just kidding. Oh, yeah. Don't even text it to each other. Don't even tell each other when you're in the same room as your phone. Whisper it in the bathroom. <laughs> Now I'm being psycho. I mean, no, but they were doing this. I mean, I don't know if you saw on TikTok. I mean, not that I'm a fan of Taylor Swift, but there's all, they're doing the AI thing for Taylor Swift. And her new songs. And her new songs. That and, aren't even out yet. Yeah. And people are like pranking their friends being like, did you hear the new Taylor Swift song leaked? And it's just like an AI song. And yeah. it sounds like a Taylor Swift song. And you can't trust anything. Cause then no. when the real important stuff comes out, you're like, I don't know if I can trust it. No, you can't trust anything. It's so Unless crazy. You see it with your own two Is eyes. Is there going to be like a certification? Like, yeah, they're some sort of like imprint that mm -hmm. you're like, this is lady gang certified. Yeah. It's like, I don't want to get canceled. If someone AIs, I mean, I think we're pretty far down the list as far as like things people we're are definitely AI. really far. Yeah. yeah. But like, I don't Once want it starts happening to a listers. Then we can yeah. like start thinking about okay. it. Maybe yeah. happening okay. to us in 10 years that people will care. But what do you guys think now with the TikTok, um, getting rid of TikTok conversation, getting very serious, but why? Because there, it didn't, they wanted the Chinese company that owns it to sell it. Yeah. Is that what it was? Yeah. Well, basically it's like, we can't have a. I worked too damn hard. I know. Well, I think it's going away. Amassing. There's a state that's already outlawed it. Small and terrible amount of people. It's fine. People will go back to Instagram and neither of us get views on it. So it's okay. <laughs> I mean, every once in a while I hit the jackpot on TikTok, but you know, I actually, it's funny. I actually met with like a social media manager. This is a job that people do obviously in Hollywood and, and we've had versions of them with Lady Gang yeah. over the years and ourselves. And I finally was like, you know, I'm just, I'm so overwhelmed. I, I am having the time of my life and I don't think I'm capture, capturing it well. And I think it's just, if, if I was following me, I would be like too much highlight reel, not enough authenticity. Mm. Like it's just too many. Cause like I get kind of even skeevy and competitive when I see like some girl at something being like so fabulous, not, and I, I've said this before and you guys are going to drag me, but like, I don't want to just be like putting out the highlight reel. I yeah. want to like, and I'm having great highlights. Like I'm happy right now, yeah. you know? But then I was like, maybe I need to meet with someone. And I had the call and they were like, it's $6,000 oh. or $4,000 for A this month. package or $3,000 per month. Per For month, what? per month to like Edit a curate your curate your self and give you curate idea, your authentic give, relatability, give you ideas of what to post and make it look pretty. And I was like, you know what? I am good. <laughs> I'm good. And you know what? I still got the big job and I didn't have a million followers and the little K types that are following me. I appreciate you. I see you, but like I, I actually think I finally have become okay with not mattering on the internet. And I, be, and I think it's because I've watched all these internet famous people kind of crash and burn doing what I, what I do. Yeah. And I'm just like, I'm good. You know what? I'm good. I don't need to be invited to your fancy party. I don't mm -hmm. need to be cool. I'm never going to go to fashion week ever again. The one time I did, it was dismal. You I mean, mean when me and you went? We had good paparazzi <laughs> photos. Um, it was when Ford was first born. Mm -hmm. Sorry, we didn't leave it's you okay. Out. I had been like five times before that. Yeah. But like, I just, I'm never going <laughs> to be in the- It was really bleak. I'm never going to be in the cool kids club and I don't need to pay someone- Wait, remember when we did fashion week and I think it was- we went to Sync Accept and then yeah. Alice and Olivia, whatever it was, they were like, pick out an outfit. And we picked out, out an outfit. They're like, already loaned. Picked out another one. Already loaned to somebody else. Picked out another one. Already loaned. And we had like the last And they were like, here's oh, yeah. something from Been seven there. years yeah. ago. <laughs> from like Been four there. years ago. It was cute. I still have mine. I liked my leather I outfit. I all the time. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> anyway, I just like, I just, I'm not doing it. I'm putting that money in a Roth IRA well, and I'm getting the out of town. Like I just, I don't care anymore. If you do not like me, it's fine. No, it's because you're thriving and your actual job. It's like you're getting the attention. Because you're actually happy in your life. I yeah. think I'm happy in my life. But also there's a, there's a whole psychology behind this because there's all there's tons of people out there, probably people that listen to this podcast that spend a lot of time and energy on Inst on their Instagram posting. And it's not to monetize it. It's not to get a big job. It's yeah. just simply to share their life. And I just, I want to get to the bottom of why as individuals, we feel this need to have that life. Have I know what it is. is. I know what it is. What is it? No, it's control. It, I feel like it all comes down to like control. You can c control the version of yourself you're putting out there. Yeah. So even if shit is going like crazy behind the scenes, it's like, that's the one thing that you have that mm -hmm. you can like put together. Even if it's for no reason, if, even if it's just like a random yeah. Joe Schmo on the street, 
I want a study of people's brains, the people that get really obsessed with it versus the people who are like, I could take it or leave it sort of a thing. Yeah. Because I'm really fascinated with like, is it, are the people that are doing it really aggressively and not monetizing it? Do they have a fantasy of one day being able to? I think so. You do? I don't think they all do. Really? I really don't. I think it's like a, how do we deal with not getting enough love in our childhood? Mm. I deal with it by doing this. You deal mm. with it by doing this. You but that's what it. I'm saying with the control thing. It's yeah. like, this is something that you can like, kind right. of, nobody else can tell you how it's going to go. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Please let us know, Lady Gang. We're going to take a poll in the Lady Gang Facebook group. Why do you curate your Instagram? Is I like it, that. Is it for your pleasure? You like organization? You want your ex-boyfriend from high school to see that you killed it? You like things organized? You want to be the fourth member of the Lady Gang? Let us know. And we weren't here for a long time. We were here for, we're good, here time. for a good time. We were here for a good time.